Yo, today I'm going to show you how to make vintage sample pack art. And for that we need a couple of things. First of all, we need an idea. Uh, like, if you want to make basic art, uh, I have tutorials for that. You just make kind of blocky and add letters. Uh, but if you want something more complicated, you gotta have an idea and like an aesthetic that you're trying to go for. So if we're going for a vintage look, we gotta make it some, some like elegant, something cool. So for example, I went with the word destiny. So for it to be cool, you know, we gotta make it shit like nobody understands. We gotta change it to some, some other language. You know, you can make it fucking China. But in Italy, in, in Italian is Destino, I mean, fuck it, it's, it's basically the same, but it's cooler. So boom, we have a name. Then we gotta find a picture. And how do you find cool pictures? Well, I just made a new Pinterest account, uh, like completely from scratch. And it has like fresh start, only fire pics, like no bullshit, you know? So you, if you don't have like an inspiration, you can just add me at Ymeo at on Pinterest and just you, you you know you can steal my pictures. It's okay. So yeah, just steal some pictures. I use this one and this one. Yeah, but basically only two pictures. So yeah, hopefully you'll find some inspiration here, and you you can always go if you like if you like the snake, for example. You can also go down here and there's a bunch of inspiration and it's completely endless you can be like here for 30 minutes so yeah we found pictures we have a name this is a done project i'm gonna show you what did i do and how did i do it maybe even redo it you know so what are we doing I started off with this picture of flowers. Control T to move the picture. You know, it was it was like this. So we gotta make it bigger. We hold Alt, boom, and we size it up like this. Then I added the name, and there's a bunch of uh, effects on the text. You know, for it to be something interesting, and I added this. Thing completely like I guess experimental so there is no right or wrong but it was very accidental I, I maybe it looks worse maybe it looks better I, I like it so with the text it's basically basically very simple what we gotta do is we have our name and we go to the monument extended you know the vibes the best font we just write destino so you know, monument extended is cool and all, but we gotta go like extra cool. You know, we gotta make something special. So what monument extended is best at? It's if you stretch it, Control T, and you it, stretch means hold Shift and just you know do shit like this. It, like it it looks very well when you squish it down. You see. It, it just, it gives them like different vibe, you know? So I just squished it. And what makes it like very cool, uh, like you can, you, you cannot leave the text like this. It looks too robotic. And for that, we need to make a displacement. We go to filter, distort and displace. And now for that we have we gotta make something else. Like you cannot just put a picture or something. Like it asks for a project. And for that we need to make another project. And you basically need to put a texture, something like with scratches, like just, just the texture and just save that picture. Because displacement only works with the project. It doesn't work with the picture. So for example, it's the displacement. 
displays and you save it so then you go back and you go to the text filter the stored displays and this is how much you want the displacement like if you want to displace it really crazy you go for like 50 and 50 if you want a small 10 10 so just experiment like the crazier the texture is the more displacement there will be so we can try 20 and 20 and we use displace we use the project file that that we just made and now you see now you see you see that shit that looks very very nice like i don't know how else you can make like letters look realistic i think this is the best way like it, it, it we can go even crazier like let's go for we can go 50 and 50 like it's going to look shit but fuck it I mean that looks also cool like it, it from that to this it's a crazy like it it already looks like it's with vintage like it's the same as this picture it's not like this picture is older than the text but there's couple else of effects we gotta add like is is displayed but you can see how rough it is and you can see this picture is like very bad quality so we gotta make the text very bad quality and we just go to filter blur gaussian blur and you put like one just one two if it isn't is even too much just one and boom it already looks better now it's done we just have to do this this is a blending effect and we right click go to blending options now I showed this like a couple tutorials back and you just play with these things like one two three four and the secret is is to break it up because if you pull it like this you see how ugly it is so you gotta hold alt and it breaks up and you see it looks way better so you just experiment you see that one didn't work but this one hold wow and how beautiful this is this this doesn't do anything yeah we can zoom out you see like this this is a crazy effect it looks very vintage very realistic you can do this yeah i mean experiment yeah this one is probably the best one yeah and that's for the effects for the text so we don't need this i can show you exactly what i did on the text so y'all can you know copy if you having struggles version blur is one i added just a bit of the text was too light so i just made it darker yeah the displacement and this one you see I did the underlying layer 124 and this one 209 and it came out but it's pointless because every time you're gonna make an art it will be different so then it was this thing was really accidental and that's the best part of the art because I don't fucking know what I'm doing like for real. <laughs> uh, all the best art that I'm doing like the thing this one i did i did it yesterday and i was just adding a bunch of stuff like what the fuck is this like this and this it's it's completely random just add a bunch of things like add five pictures and see which one works the best like completely random you see this it worked so it looked it's actually yeah linear burn it looked like this and then you go to this section with has a lot of text and you just play with each one it really gives so many interesting effects and you just play with them
like you see this is interesting this shit is fucking beautiful yeah you know the vibes so i i chose linear born it, it makes it like because it's so dark it kind of like vintage you know vintage vintage everything's so vintage yeah so it's very simple one picture second picture text you can add like sample library 20 samples in the style of wheezy uh, your name prod da vinci da vinci like 2021 all rights reserved i tried to do it but it all looked like shit so i left it very simple like do everything you want you know just don't overdo it the the point of the art is not to give information it's just to look good so if if it doesn't look good with 2020 or all rights resort delete that shit you know just the name art boom simple is better then what i did is a bit a bit weird i started doing this and it's basically like you know for in order for the art digital to be realistic uh, it has to have some lighting like i added this thing it's on 20. it was just uh if you turn on gaussian blur it's just a fucking circle so i added like a thousand of blur and now it has like a light you know and if we put opacity like very down like very 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 little you you cannot see it but it gives the effect it like once it's there you will feel it uh, be because if if it's not there it will look blank you know the vibes like you can ex do it here here it's just i think it it gives some effect and then i added this it's just a rectangle you know the vibes and i added like, i did it at seven percent because uh i accidentally put like something blue and you see it gives it like this instagramish filter and i really liked it and i just didn't want it too much so i put it at seven you know it's just small details i mean even without them it looks good and lastly you know we gotta bring the textures all the textures if you don't have textures i got you go into my discord link is in the description i have a complete server for the stuff from the video like every video i drop i put all the stuff i use for the art uh, in that server so you can just join and download it so the first one is this one you know it's really nice and we just put it a screen a couple of paper i don't know what you call this you know the paper vibes yeah so then we got this from dude clay i also screened it it's really nice texture this texture is really nice it this one is from here like if it wasn't for the texture it would be all black so this texture is very nice for vintage feel like you can put it on a basic poster or art and it will give that splash this does splash and the third one is this one uh, is just uh, more textures because the picture itself with the with the butterflies it has like you know some vintage vibes but it doesn't have a lot of paper effect to it so i just wanted more and i did it we just screen it lower the opacity like 63 and now you see there is a bit of paper and i think that's it it looks very vintage uh, also you know i group everything and be careful when you convert it to smart object because your displacement will change so like i don't convert it to uh, smart object when i do displace like i just export it and here because you see like i'll show you convert it to smart object 
and this whole letter will go to shit. Oh, not, not like completely shit, but it will change drastically. You see, it's kind of ugly. It was better. So when you do the displacement effect, just export it and then do the extra effects that you wanted. And all I wanted to do is just add a little bit of noise. That's it. I just added a little bit of noise. I did it monochromatic, uniform and 15. Yeah, I mean, if you want to add noise, just don't do too little or too much. Keep it cool. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah, join the Discord for the sauce. And hopefully more videos come soon.